Kai. So battery backups. These days, pretty cheap and easy. You can go down and pick up for a fairly low cost these little like uh, baby plug and play ones. You just kind of plug it into the wall, plug in your equipment, you're good. You're protected from some basic power interruptions, things like that. Gives you plenty of time to save your work in the event of a longer power interruption. But anyway, pretty good. The other problem with these is that they are known as a disposable battery backup. So the battery is not end user replaceable. They ship, you, you plug in the thing to enable it. And when it's dead, you toss it. I mean, apparently, you know, you, know, you should recycle it, but nah, this is America, so probably the people are throwing this away. Disgusting, not super great. And also, this isn't a very large battery and doesn't last very long. Next logical step up is this style of unit. End user can replace the battery, plugs into your computer so it can tell it to shut down automatically. It's got a bunch of other features. Pretty nice, these are cute. Um, I've been using them for years. Um, just replace the battery every couple of years, recycle those, super convenient. Um, and you can get these used pretty cheap. But, new things, new tech. Recently did a video on these giant guys. And these are cool, because they uh, last a lot longer and the new ones are uh, pure sine wave, so they actually uh, provide power that looks basically like actual wall power. Uh, this is not one of those units. And the ones that uh, they showed off there on new things, new tech, those are expensive, and that's no fun. I don't, I don't want to throw a bunch of money at some batteries. So you can actually pick up these units for pretty cheap um, with the uh, gotcha of the batteries are dead. And they use, they either have a sticker or don't, these funky little things that look like special weird pre-made battery pack things. Um, look how disgusting they, the stickers get. And the problem is you may look at these online and go, oh, those are really expensive batteries. Uh, but the, the secret, is they're just two regular batteries stuck together. Uh, and you can buy the batteries for pretty cheap. Mind you, of course, voids your warranty. If your house catches on fire, it's not my fault. You're buying cheap batteries off eBay. You know, fire hazard risk, electrical shock, all that danger. You're doing it to your own risk. I might burn down my house and that's my fault. If you burn down your house, it's not my fault. It's your fault because you followed me along. So, these are pretty easy to make your own little battery packs. Let's go ahead and do that. And if you do that, you end up having these nice giant battery backups for pretty cheap. And uh, they also have the power to plug into your computer, or give you uh, ability to shut down or shut down your servers and all that stuff. You can turn off the beep of the buttons. You got menus that shows you power usage, all kinds of stuff like that. Really neat. There's a little screen in them. Oh, they're so cool. They're so cool. So much more fun. Step one, remove the old battery. First, we want to deconstruct the old battery pack. We're going to start by lifting off one of the batteries and unplugging it here. Easier said than done. And we'll do the same thing on the other side here. Let's see if it's easier with some sort of pliers. Some gentle persuasion. Mm, nope. That's a poor idea. That messes up the heat shrink. Yep, pliers is the easiest, but now we know. Now we gotta rebuild. So we'll take one of our new batteries here. Uh, that went on pretty easily. Maybe I should clamp things down a bit, make sure it's got a nice tight seal. grab our other new battery and do the same thing here. Order for this doesn't really matter because we're not completing a circuit unlike with a car battery or something like that. So yeah, if these connectors are slightly too loose for you there, which these actually seem to be biting pretty good, but if they seem a bit too loose for comfort, you're in for a bad time there. The proper way to crimp them down a bit more is go ahead and plier them in open air here squeeze those little terminal bits down and do the same thing to the other one there since they're both a bit loose and if they still feel like they're too loose just crank them down a bit more
If you can't get them on, they can't come off. Now the real fun, let's put the freshly built battery pack into the backup and see if it catches fire. That's a good start. Let's plug it into the wall. We'll have it on a power strip so I can turn it off if things go bad. Well, it says the battery is charged. Let's go ahead and plug something into it. Flip off the switch and see if it battery is fine. I don't own any incandescent bulbs anymore, but here's a 43 watt uh, halogen bulb thing. Will it explode when given a non-proper AC sine wave since this is an approximating unit? Who knows? It's in a metal can, so at least it'll be slightly less broken glass and flaming elements on my carpet that will catch fire. 30 minutes of estimated time. That's a 40 watt load. Cute. Now first off, does everything catch fire? Well, that's not too bad. Well, I'd say that's a success. Hooray, battery backup. The other type of battery pack has a little sticker around all the batteries that gives you easy release pull tabs. That's kind of nice. The real question is do I want to try to put the sticker back on afterwards? Stickers are gross, so part of me wants to say no. Well, it's the world's worst peel. Building this is also going to roughly be the same. Well, we'll see if that works. Let's see if things catch fire part two. Now with my rebuilt with sticker battery. Yes, I see. I did it wrong. It's almost idiot proof. Nah, that figures too much work. Same test as before. No, that seems to work. So overall, they work pretty well. Already saved me a couple of times during some short uh, brownouts and power fluctuations and stuff. So they do work with actual computers and stuff and not just little lamps, so that's cool. Anyway, thanks for watching and uh, yeah, you know, bye.